guys, welcome to Rhino Feed. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Samsung Series 7 laptop computer. Now I picked this up at the Microsoft Store and if you have one nearby where you live, I highly recommend that you check it out because that's they got some really good deals going on right now and it's a fun place to check out all the tech goodies at the moment. So the specs that we have here are the Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit operating system an Intel Core i7-26750QM 2.2 GHz CPU a 15.6 inch LED matte display an AMD HD 6750M GDDR5 1 GB hybrid dedicated graphics card 6 GB of RAM a 750 GB hybrid hard drive so it's Got 7200 RPM hard drive for the main bulk of it, and then 8 gig of uh, solid state for caching and performance. That's really nice. It's got a standard DVD drive, a 1 gigabyte LAN connection for wired Ethernet, and wireless N. So, and also this is the silver version, obviously. So let's open this up. Actually, well, let's look at the box here. It's a pretty clean shot right there. Nice photography. And on the back, we got pretty much the same thing, only the front practically blends in with the box design. And then um, seven, Series 7 Chronos. And on this side, we have nothing except noting that it has HDMI. This side, noting that it has a uh, Intel processor, so pretty simple box, nothing much there. So let's break the seal and open this up. Very nice so far packaging, some very dense foam. And well, let's, let's see here, this is the power cable. Will this box stay? Let's see. That'll make it easier. Okay. So we have the power cable here, pretty standard. That plugs into your power brick. And over here is the power brick itself. You know, not too big, not too small, but uh, yeah, it's a power brick. And then, of course, just a standard AC plug, unfortunately. No more MagSafe. That's one thing I forgot to mention is my dad got this notebook for himself. He has a MacBook Pro right now, but he's going to switch to Windows 7. So he's been using Windows XP for the longest time under Boot Camp. And that's the reason he got the MacBook Pro is because Boot Camp can run Windows XP, but all the business class machines that ran XP at the time were pretty lackluster in terms of specs. So that was a really good option for him at the time, but now he's moving on to a Samsung actual PC for once. <laughs> so let's see here. Ah, they got some stuff here underneath the laptop. And quite a bit actually in a little bag here. So we have a Microsoft signature, um, because this did go through the Microsoft store, so we got no stickers and no crapware. Big selling point for using the Microsoft store. A user guide, a quick start guide, and a getting started guide. This I think has, is connected to the Microsoft store here. I don't know that you get this with the actual Samsung Series 7 if you just buy it elsewhere. And some other paperwork here. <laughs> Stop, of course. Everyone, everyone has to have that in their packaging. Wow. So yeah. And then uh, a CD. So there you have, there you have it. Windows 7 Home Premium Service Pack 1 recovery disk. Let's put this away. And that too. And let's take this out of the packaging. So it's got a very nice rugged construction, in my opinion, 
for a PC. <laughs> it feels very nice. I believe this is 5.6 pounds. I could be wrong, but I'll put a subtitle. So you can see the texture. It's a nice uh, kind of metal, but it's actually, I don't know, it feels cold like metal, but I think it's plastic. So yeah. Then of course your stickers there, some vents and for memory upgrades. This is your I.O. ports here. You have the uh, Kensington lock on the left side, AC adapter, HDMI, Ethernet with a little cover here, USB 3.0, two of those, and I believe some sort of micro display port, I don't know and of course your headphone jack. The back has nothing on it and the side has a standard USB port and your DVD slot loading drive. Very nice and also the bottom has these nice uh, rubber feet right here. Opening it up the hinge feels pretty pretty nice actually. Uh, the matte display is clean and the bezel here is very thin on the edges with the nice metal look as well. And at the very top, I can't get the angle right here, but you can kind of see there's a webcam up there. So I'm also not going to take this off, but yeah, highly reflective. Wait, the Microsoft Store does not get rid of the stickers. Anyway, this is your power button, your LED lights here, and nothing else except the keyboard itself, which is a backlit keys, chiclet style. And the trackpad itself, which is a very nice unibody, I call it that, because <laughs> it doesn't have the two buttons here. It's just integrated into the trackpad. It's a pretty nice large size, so it, so it should be pretty easy to use. So. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this unboxing. I might post another video of this soon. Thanks for watching.